pre-John. Just set it up. Well, listen. If, if, if Blitz loses, his full ass is on blast. I'm yeah. not giving him an out. <laughs> <laughs> no sympathy from me. <laughs> All right, let's see. If he's... Oh, yeah, Midnight. Okay, so this okay. is why I clicked. To be fair, I, this is not a great matchup. Um, I'm pretty sure that Midnight exemplifies sort of the cyclical nature of edge guarding Ness. And that I think... should be on full display. Now, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we might not actually see the screen for a second, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, ping and timer, just because yeah, nobody needs to see that stuff. Show us. Yeah, show us the clock. Um, and then there we go. So now we should be beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, anyone who's and getting sick of that green text. Ness already off screen, or off stage, but managed to get back. High recovery. Hmm. So we're already starting to see some of that rinse and repeat uh, edge guard, and I think just in general, Ness struggles a lot versus sword characters. Um, a lot of Ness's moves are very stumpy or very SDIable or ASDIable. Yeah. Um, and then once you get him off stage, you can just abuse disjoints, just keep hitting them, and eventually you're just gonna run out of options. Yeah, and now like right I, I, yeah, exactly. And I do like what I'm seeing uh, in this neutral game from Phoenix Wrong, but it, it, it is a matter of he's he he's patient to the extent that sometimes he's not actually gaining a lot. Like he keeps backing off with a lot of these approaches. Mm -hmm. um, I think Blitz is doing a great job just running around, making it very difficult to be hit right now. No, this Downbeat, kill. Okay. not quite kill. This is not three point six. That nair might. Or at least set up shields. for an edge guard situation. Uh, he could have just held it, I think, rolled, but yeah, plays it safe. Yeah, gets there back you go. and forwards. Max is gonna take it. Yeah, and this is going a little bit. Uh, you know, Blitz try and maintain the integrity of the the most recent PR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no jump there from Heaney right now. No. And but manages to get back. And this is getting a little bit rough. Definitely, right now, Blitz very dominantly running away with it. It feels like, again, like, uh, Phoenix Wrong is in a situation where he could try an edge guard, try and do a mix up, and it just backs off. And, like, that works at beating a lot of players, but if you feel like you're on the back foot, you need to start making some risks. Mm -hmm. You need to start, like, putting yourself out there. Uh, for sure. I This is not saying for Phoenix Wrong in particular, but I actually think this is a very common thing. Ooh. that fighting game players and Smash players get when they are used to playing a lot of people who are, uh, I guess I'd say the words, at level or below level from them. Because mm -hmm. just doing the safe thing every time works if you're more confident in your tools than your opponent. Yeah. But the moment, if I have to beat Morks in tournaments, I know I have to make some risky plays. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's just the nature of ooh. Ooh, overcoming the deficit. Good down air, just yeah, really that nice. lasting hitbox with far too high percent to get any meaningful recovery off of that uh, meteor cancel. I like this, putting on a lot Ooh. more pressure. Right out of the gate, already blitz nearly at 80%. Yeah, exactly um, what we need to see. I want to see some double jump cancels character. out of shield. Yeah. Double jump cancel Nair is like a defensive tool, because that roll away, that could have been pressure for you to start. Mm -hmm. um, I think well, well, I've recently started playing other fighting games more. Yep. Um, and <gasps> yeah. <woo! laughs> yeah. all right, doesn't quite. Let's DI is kind of good, but yeah. Um, yes. I've Lo been playing other local games. resident uh, third strike player, right? Or what are you playing? I'm playing uh, five right now. Okay. I, I played uh, third strike for like two weeks, and then uh, my friend shared or game shared five with me, and I was like, yeah, this is. The yeah. One. I found a grappler that I like playing, so. Oh, I um, you, we talked about this. Who are you playing again? I'm playing Birdie now. Okay, okay. I've always, I've gone on record saying that I've always wanted to play a Grappler, but I've never meshed with any. Yeah, but DK I'm really is, uh, enjoying weird. it. Yeah. But one of the big things that I had to learn um, going from Smash to fighting games is that when you're in advantage state, you can't just run to the center stage and hold neutral. You just need to keep pushing that advantage yeah. as far as you could take it every time. No, I super, super vibe with that. I think um, it, it's definitely a lesson that is hard for a lot of people to learn at first. 
Mm -hmm. um, especially, like, as you said, playing a grappler, like, I... My main fighting game I still now play is Fate Unlimited Codes. And I don't play a grappler in that. I play a... But I play a armor-heavy character. And it's still sort of the same vibes. Like, listen, lots of slow movement, lots of, like, once I'm in, mm -hmm. I need to stay in. I need to make use of that of that advantage I got. Yeah, because um, the whole point of, like, your neutral so far has been getting to the point where you can get near your opponent. And then if you go in and then you just try and reset neutral and hold center, you're giving up all of the advantages that you just gained from getting and, in. And I'll say, actually, and this is important because it also applies nice. to Smash, is that honestly grapplers feel that the most like in their hearts but it is everyone if you get oki mm -hmm. and you're a zoner make use of that oki Ooh. oh you know, phoenix wrong kind of putting in the work right now that was a meteor so bliss did just miss the meteor cancel yeah, but bliss is just that lost, was dude. just the angle that he needed to send him off stage from where they were Ooh, goes for ledge good yeah, roll up from blitz blitz conscious snuff doesn't just go for the the nair which is the default option for most of them mm -hmm. you have to make remember that i think ness has 12 frames of invincibility on his upbeat yeah so you can't just toss out a dummy aerial grab so he's gonna get his jump back all right ledge nice Straight and safe ledge yep nice. Saw Blitz double back magnet. Up a bit. Up a not kill? quite no. gonna wow. kill that's surprisingly thick well, he was only he at like 80-something percent. He can physically get back, but he won't be but, able to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just going to grab that ledge. And Blitz evens it back up after being two stocks down. Yeah, really, really quickly coming back. I mean, the way Blitz lost his stock, I definitely know he... Uh, Blitz tends to be mm -hmm. a angry gamer uh, in, <laughs> if he loses a stock in a bad way. But... Really, this edge guard situation is rough. Ugh. Ooh, back air. Yeah, and same situation. He can reach ledge, but he won't. Yeah. Forward smash. Not quite gonna kill. Uh, go Pretty high. low percent, and there's another one. That's gonna be it. So Blitz turned it all the way around, got the lead back, Unless... and never mind. Unless Blitz. Man, Blitz keeps dying up the bottom of the left side. Be careful, yeah. Blitz. All three stocks so far. Well, got shield, I mean, but... it doesn't matter how you got into the situation. Like, it is up to Phoenix wrong to Ooh, say, no hey, jump. I could take this. Wow, that was a great angle to get back to the ledge there. Nice stairs. I definitely understand um, from Ness's point of view. Like, when you get your opponent off stage, you do want to go out and finish it out, but you're so vulnerable. Any stray hit can just... If you use your double jump, it could just be the end of your stock. Nair. Goes to ledge. Great. Blitz doesn't grab it for some reason. Nair, that's going to be it. Yeah. Now, I once I again... I yeah, am still ahead. impressed. I am too. I mean, like... I... And he's got... And this is not over by any means. Like this is for sure. Winner side. This is tons of time to come back and change how things, uh, how the rest of the tournament's gonna go. Um, and there's, and I definitely think that of of everyone that we've been seeing, like Phoenix Wrong definitely has that capability and that potential. So I'll get that score and that's two zero for Blitz. Yeah. And I, I want to go over. I, 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 there's a sick match happening right now that I kind of wish we were watching. Because MJ Greeley is playing against uh, Mocha. Ooh. And MJ, we've not really seen it all at our events, but uh, mm -hmm. has had some dominating records on a lot of our local players. Uh, controversially, said he's a uh, 3-0 on Frost, and Frost mm -hmm. said, I don't think we've ever played. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, if things go well for Greeley right here, that's they could end up playing, so and we might be getting a Lucas Ditto? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of vibing. You know what? I think the the responsible thing to do is why don't we follow Blitz to face Peanut, and then we'll face Fro see Frost and the winner of MJ and Mocha after. Mm -hmm. I am always happy to watch Peanut play. I didn't used to be, but I very much warmed up to him now. Yeah. But anyways, great showing from Phoenix wrong today so far. Would love to see more if he manages to run through this.